right, ladies and gentlemen, Benjamin here. Just going to make a quick video on my combat camera. It's my little crappy Olympus one. I just wanted to show you how I took a power supply, a switch mode power supply that was from a DVD player. You might see that it says switching power supply, DC output, 9 volts at about 2 amps. Okay. Anyway, taking it apart, you'll see many different parts. Okay. Alright, it should be discharged. Now, if you uh, are going to do this, make sure that you are very well aware of your safety because there's a capacitor in here, that black one right there. It contains lethal voltages, and if you just unplug it, uh, you know, within the last short period of time and you touch it, you will receive a very, very nasty shock. It is uh, worse than sticking your finger in the outlet. You will. Uh, it is a very nasty shock. Anyway, um, I wanted to finally do something, do it smart, because I've done this before, of taking the um, the uh, switch mode power supplies from laptops and uh, changing the voltage from 19 volts or 15 volts or whatever it is to 13.8, something that's useful to me. Uh, to charge a battery or to power the radio. So, as you see there, I tried diff doing different masks and stuff like that, and it just it just wasn't work out. First, you know, usually what I'll try and do is I'll draw out a schematic based on the parts layout and just draw it exactly as it is. But sometimes that just yeah, it gets confusing. But it is a good idea to have it in hand. And then finally, I got smart. It's like okay, I'm just going to do some calculations. Um, just do some um, basic ones. Um, and it's really just me figuring out. I've had no formal education on this. But anyways, uh, doing some measuring, the output on this particular power supply was 9.4 volts. Now this thing right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little itty bitty transistor. Like I'll see if I can't point to it. Oh man, that's horrible. You can't see it. Let's try this. That's a failure. But anyway, there's a little transistor. It's right here. This is a TL431. It's made by Texas Instruments. Just look it up. You'll find out what it is. You'll see how it is. This is just a three pin transistor. Uh, one of these is the anode. Another one of these pins is the reference, which is this one. And on the left side is the, uh, is the, is the cathode. Anyway. So I just made some basic measurements, and this is where I started figuring out what I was doing. On the cathode side of this, of, of the uh, TL431, the uh, it's a programmable, what is it, a programmable uh, shunt regulator. It had a 1.41 voltage drop because my measured voltage at the cathode was 7.99 volts. So and seeing and following it, I I discovered that it had a 2K series, a 2 2K resistor in line. So I was like, okay, if it's got a 1.41 voltage drop and with a 2k resistor so the current's going to be uh, <laughs> 705 microamps okay or uh, 0 0.705 milliamps alright anyways the reference pin usually the reference is going to be about the same it's 2.475 volts that's measured and uh, that's a voltage drop uh, from a uh, 6.925 voltage drop from 9.4 and that's going through and you can tell which one's the the reference resistor because it's the only one that has an odd value you don't see you know you'll see a 202 which is you know 2000 ohms or a 510 or a 510 which is 51 ohms or a 221 which is 220 ohms but if you see something I think I lost it oh you're not going to be able to see it. That bitty bitty thing right there. It used to be the resistor in there until I tore it out. Um, that one measured 13,300 13, ohms or 13.3k. That's that's not a normal value. So it's like, okay, let's do this math again. Same thing. Uh, the cathode, the voltage drop, don't care. That's going to be the same. But the reference, uh, you know, obviously there's going to be a different voltage reference or uh, the uh, the voltage drop. So I did the math. And based on the current, um, is I figured out a 41, 40, uh, 41,394 ohms to get it. 
I didn't have that, so I put in a 47 ohm resistor, or a 47k resistor, and my voltage measured out was um, was 26 volts. So I just put in a, I found a, um, oh, what I do with it? You know, so, somewhere in the junk pile, you see there. I found on a old computer power supply a, uh, what is it, a 39,000 ohm resistor, so good enough. But just in case you want to do one for the, do the math for 12 volts, or 13.8, calculate your original voltage, or you measure it, you measure your reference, you need to know your reference, and that's just a simple measuring, and then, and then figure out, okay, if your reference is 2.475 volts, you want your desired output to be 13.8, you're going to have an 11.325 voltage drop. Now, based because I'm using the same circuit exactly, the um, calculated uh, current, uh, reference current is still going to be um, 0.52 milliamps, and so doing the math, it's going to be estimated about a, about a 21 or 22K resistor, and uh, before I committed and put that one on there for 24 volts, I did measure that, and I got right around uh, um, uh, right around 14 volts. So I was pretty pleased to see that. I actually guess I actually did a little bit of homework this time and figured it out. But anyway, let me show you uh, a couple things here. Hopefully, I don't screw this up and blow something else up. When I was a dummy, like I said, this this power supply was originally meant for uh, nine volts, and as you see here, this little capacitor, oh silly thing, this little this little capacitor was rated at 16 volts. And you, you're not going to see it, but if I blew the top, the table had a mess everywhere, and just it's a good thing I kind of held back, sticking it in. But I'll show you that this works. So I had to replace the the uh, capacitors with um different one <laughs> and uh with ones that are actually rated for what I'm going to use and I'll show you here these are this is just the uh, pre output capacitor this is the final output capacitor so you know they're for filtering and helping it uh, stabilize but there it is okay a little bit of voltage left now with a little bit of luck if I didn't accidentally cross anything or blow something up There you go. Now you want the swarmo. Nine volts. Power supply. Now putting out twenty two point eight volts. Good enough. Oh. Let's do the acid test. Yeah, that's all pretty and all, but let's see if it actually works. It's gonna be destined to go on this scanner that I'm gonna give to a friend. This stupid scanner requires twenty four volts. I figure 23 is going to be good enough. So, hopefully we don't cross nothing. Let's see what this does. Whew, look at that. The light. It works. If you got any questions, ask them. Um, if you got something to say, say it. Please subscribe, pass it on to your friends. And, um, Ask the questions, okay? Uh, the only dumb question is one that's not answered. But also, too, just don't be asking questions that are as simple as what color is the sky. You know, do your basic homework and look it up just like I did. You know, I do have a small a small library there um, that I do reference quite frequently. And also, um, uh, you know, search engines are your friends. Thanks for watching.